Good morning, boys and girls. It's Wednesday, it's hump day. We're halfway through the week and we're still celebrating railroad days by reading train books. So if you're ready, get comfortable and here comes the next book. All righty, all aboard for Shark versus Train. This book was written by Chris Barton illustrated by Tom Lichtenheld, and it's published by Little Brown and Company. The shark says, I'm going to shoot you up and spit you out, he says to the train. And the train says, I'm a going to finish you, mackerel breath. Oh my goodness. Who will win between the shark and the train? Well, that depends on if they're in the ocean. Because the shark says, how's that furnace working for you? Look at the train going down into the ocean. He's losing his coal. His steam's going out. I don't think there's a train track under the ocean. Or on railroad tracks. Oh, the shark is struggling to pull the cars down the track. And he says, can we make it the best out of three? Because you can see. The train is definitely winning. If they're on a seesaw, oh my goodness, the train must weigh more than the shark and he bounces on the sea shark, seesaw and the shark goes flying up into the air. Or in hot air balloons. Mm, this time it's good that the shark weighs less than the train because the shark can ride up in the balloon. The train, I think, is going down. Roasting marshmallows. And the shark says, oh no, because he's trying to roast his marshmallows over a little fire and he's dripping water and he's putting the fire out so he can't roast the marshmallow. The engine has steam coming out and he can roast his marshmallow. So I think he wins that round. Eating pies. Oh, the shark loves pies. Look how many he's eaten. And the train says, could I just please have some coal? Or having a burping contest. The shark goes, burp. And the train goes, belch. I think we know who won that one. Depends on whether they're bowling. Oh my goodness, look what the shark did. He bowled so hard that he broke all the bowling pins. That counts as a strike, right? He asked the engine. And the train says, that is why you guys have a bad reputation. Or if they're shooting baskets, the shark says foul, because look at the train. He can stand on his last car and he can dump the basketball into the basketball goal. Or going off the high dive. Oh, look at the shark. He jumps and he goes over and he does a flip and he does another flip and he does this before he lands into the pool. The poor train is scared. He goes, ee! doesn't want to go in that water. Or if they're running lemonade stands. <laughs> well, the train's got a line out in the desert and says, hey, dude, I got plenty more. But the shark is trying to have his lemonade stand down under the ocean. And he says, what you mean? It's a little watery. Well, how could it not be watery? He's under the water. Oh, or if they're trick-or-treating. 
The shark's dressed up like a clown. He has on a hat and a red nose. The clown is very hungry. Oh, and look, she's dumping her whole bowl out because she's scared of the, the clown shark. And the little train, he's almost shivering. He just has on glasses trying to disguise. Think the shark won this one. Or giving rides at a carnival. Oh, shark rides or train rides. The shark rides they were gonna charge for, but nobody wanted to ride the shark, so they're gonna let them go in for free. But there's a line for the train rides. They're like doing a roller coaster ride. Train wins. It can depend on who gets to pick first. Hmm, there they are fixing to play ping pong. Hmm, let's see which one he says. Who names the game? Your choice. And the engine has all sorts of, of games. Caboose and ladders. Caboosey land. Tranial pursuit. Tractionary. Riding the rails and battle train. And who deals the cards? I believe these cards are marked, says the train. Go fish, says the shark. Look at the cards. They have bite marks. I bet the shark knows which cards have the bite marks. But who wins if they are? shark pen and I think I see smoke coming out of the closet or trying not to get shushed oh they're in the library and you know you can talk in the library but you do need to use inside voices and the shark says but I wasn't doing anything but all the people that see the shark are going Eek! Ah! they're scared and the librarian say quiet and the poor train, train, I guess he's nervous because he's going, chuck, 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 chuck. Woo, woo. He's making all sorts of train sounds in the library. Performing in a piano recital. Oh my goodness. I don't think anybody wins here. The shark says, sorry, the sound Sound of the sea always gives me the munchies, he says. And the train says, I guess I hit that last note a little too hard. Or playing extreme zombie squirrel motocross. Sure would help if we had thumbs, said the train. Yep, said the shark. But the last few things they've tried to do, neither one, the shark or the train, has won. They both done poorly at those. Exploring distant galaxies. We need to find some train tracks. I have a bad feeling about this, says the shark. Or sword fighting on a tightrope. Sword fight? I thought we were having sword fish. He thought they were eating, not fighting on a rope. Couldn't we do this on a bridge? Or in a depot? says the train. The caboose says, I'll just watch. He's not going out there on that rope. Or, okay, this is getting ridiculous. They're riding motorbikes. And the train says, now, now would be a good time for a break. Look at all these cars hanging off. I'm sure that's very, very hard. He's, jump, he's jumping over all these cars and it looks like they're about to hit. I hope not. Boys, lunch. Uh, look at there. The boys were playing with their sharks in their train. So they threw them back into the toys and they ran off to get lunch. The shark says, next time your history soot 
spinner next time you're sunk, squid slurper, says the engine. End of the line. Okay, that was a little bit of a different story. I'm not sure you could really actually compare a shark to a train, but those boys sure did have fun doing that. I hope you have fun today. Maybe it'll be a pretty day. You can play outside. You can go on a walk. Maybe you can even come visit Thomas the Train at the library. And don't forget, some railroad things happening this weekend. I know we've got a food truck event going on Friday night from about 5.30 to 8. Should be some good food if mom and dad want to get out. Mom doesn't want to have to cook supper on a Friday night. All right, boys and girls, again, have a great day. We'll see you later.